Hi, I'm Grayson, and I'm missing two teeth. <laughs> okay, I don't know what kind of intro that was, but, um, okay. Uh, let's get on the video. Uh, so, I saw that this trend was picking back up again, because, like, I know that people had done this challenge a few months ago, and so, like, um, yeah. Um, um, so I started this, uh, the 14th of june when i drew the leader and then i kind of forgot about it but then i started again on it again in july um and then like the clan generator challenge was getting popular again and i saw a bunch of videos of it and i was like well damn i better finish these motherfuckers <laughs> uh so uh yeah here they are okay you can't see them i don't have like a super good story for them or anything but yeah also, a lot of people said that they generated a few clans and picked one they liked. <laughs> I just picked the first one I got. I was just, sorry for not making this stupid 800 sub special. I'm not emotive enough to animate. Ah! Also, I swear to God, literally everybody got like 50 black cats. I swear to God. I'm gonna... This is Ravenstar, and she is the leader of Sherbel Clan. She's a black sheep cat with short fur and yellow eyes. And I wanted to do kind of a, like, a uh, square-ish thing with her. Um, a design, a square-ish design with her. And so I did that. Um, and she's a wise and respected leader. Um, and, well, yeah, she's a good leader, basically. Um... And ignore the fact that I was drawing the paws separately there, the toes. Um, uh, yeah, and she has a brother, which is the deputy. You'll see him after her. Um, and as I said, yeah, she's respected and, uh, she's popular amongst the children. Um... <laughs> Uh, because they think she's like cool and she's like, oh my god, I'm Um, <laughs> but yeah. She's basically just tired old. Okay, she's not old, but <laughs> tired lady doing her job. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what else to say about her. Um, uh, except uh, I'm just gonna say that. The speed paints are kind of slowed down, so I can, like, ramble about them, I guess. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was to say. Okay. We're just, okay. Um, yeah. So, I don't know why my microphone is just like weird noise um but all right so here is the deputy aka raymond star's brother Woo! his name is nightstream and he's a black town with short fur and hazel eyes um and uh i did the again uh i did the square design with him as well like square fur and body type and shit but uh he's kind of ugly his face is kind of ugly, and I tried to do, like, he can't, um, yeah. Um, yeah, he's kind of ugly, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's kind of grump- no, he's not grumpy, actually. Uh, ignore what I was just about to say, what the fuck? He's not grumpy, um, but he's kind of- Stern? Is that the right word? He's kind of serious, and- so, he's not, like, very haha, but he can warm up to people, um, like, for example, he has a mate, um, her name is Daffodil Cloud, um, she's further into the video, so I'll talk about more of her, um, and he has two children, uh, with her, and he's not, like, yeah, like, he is a 
pretty good dad, and he, like, tries to teach them how to be good warriors. Even though he's not, like, their mentors. Actually, I don't know if deputies or leaders can be mentors, so uh, he's not their mentor. I, I haven't decided any mentors, so. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he's kind of, like, kind of serious. And, ooh, ah, wow. Um. And he's kind of strong. I tried to kind of draw it so it kind of looks like he's kind of buff, but not like very buff, just a little bit. Uh, but yeah. Um. Ooh, that's him, yeah. Um, and then we have Frostbriar, which is... Oh my god. <laughs> god, sorry. There was a fucking Daddy Long Legs next to me, and I was like, oh my god, it's a spider! Ah! But yeah, this is Frostbriar. She is the medicine cat, and she's a short haired blue and cream classic calico she cat with copper eyes, which that's a lot to take in. Also, first of all, I just wanted to mention that it said short fur, and I was like, I, I was just sick of the short fur. I was like, a bitch! I want her to have long fur. Fuck you! Um, and so I gave her long fur. <laughs> but like, eight. Blue and cream classic calico. So basically, like a, a classic tabby, but she's a calico. So uh, more that's what I'm guessing. So um, I think I actually forgot. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Grayson Forgets to Make Designs in their... Dis I think I literally forgot to make her a classic... I li oh, my God. Wow. I made her just the calico and not a, like, a classic tabby calico. Damn, I feel dumb right now. Wow. Um, anyways, but yeah, she is uh, soft spoken and. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and she is uh, very good with herbs and. Due to her cruel, soft spoken nature. She's good at calming cats down and, like, yeah, keeping them calm. And, yeah, so basically she's good at her job. And she's the only medicine cat. Um, but, yeah. I can't believe I forgot to give her the classic. Yeah. I feel dumb. Also, it said copper eyes, and I wanted to give her two colored eyes, so I gave her a brownish, even though copper is more orangish, and like a green turquoise ish, because, um, like, because, like, copper before it's. Like, just copper, and then copper after it's... Whatever the f fuck the... I forgot what it's called. You know, when it turns green, that... So, yeah, I gave her two colored eyes. Um, also, she has multiple colored paw pads, because I can. He... Um... Yeah. I did as I forgot to make her... A classic tabby. Oh my god. Whatever. I think she still looks good as just a calico. Even though her markings are kind of weird. Because I kind of forgot the calico. Also, yeah. Also, I tried to make her like skinny and long. It looks kind of weird, but whatever. Deal with it. Blech. Woo! Yay! Uh, and then we have Cypress Fur, which is a warrior. Um, the next ones are gonna be warriors. And she is a red mackerel pseudo-tabby. 
uh, she get with short fur and hazel eyes, which I saw others get pseudo tabbies as well, and basically all of them were like, well, I, I don't know what pseudo tabby is, uh, and I didn't know what pseudo tabby is either, and I did a lot of research, and apparently it's like the cat is genetically red, but it, it like looks brown, kind of. And so when it said a red mackerel pseudotabi, I was like, okay, I'll make her more brown colored, even though she's a little bit like reddish. I, I still wanted to keep the reddish color in, but she's a bit more brown than she would have original been. Originally been? <laughs> um, yeah. And... She's a sash... Sh whoa. She's a sashy... Harsh little poop fart. Um, but... She's nice. She's not, like, exactly a bitch, but, can but she can be a bitch, but, like, in a good way, if that makes sense. Like, for example, how I can be a bitch, but then it's more like slay, kind of. Like, she, yeah, just, yeah. That was cringe. Um, <laughs> whatever. It's my video. Um, also, I forgot what cypress means. I think it's like a flower or something, uh, and I didn't really do anything with that. Um, and also... Woo! Yawn. Um, and also, she looks kind of spidery. That wasn't originally... Um... Yeah, that wasn't originally supposed to be that, but then it ended up like that, and I like it. Even though her name has, like, nothing to do with what she looks like. Or her, what she looks like has nothing to do with her name. I forgot what Cypress means, honestly. I, I I don't remember what it means, but whatever. Also, I used a reference. God, I keep yawning because it's like midnight or something. Actually, it's 1 a.m. Sorry. I just have to get this video done. Um, so, yeah. I used a reference for, like, the coat patterns, like, the tabby patterns, I mean. Kind of. Um, and you can see it in, like, the corner. Not right now, but, like, you could start in the corner. Um, I just got it off Google. Um, there you go. There she is. And now it's Hair Whisker. Yay! He is a chocolate classic Tabby's Tom with short fur and amber eyes. Which I, I obviously wanted to make him kind of like a bunny slash hair slash whatever rabbit. Because hair is another word for bunny and rabbit. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, and he wasn't originally supposed to be a Manx cat, but uh, it just kind of ended up as that. And I'm kind of glad that I did because that meant that I could give him a short tail. Because I wasn't originally supposed to give him a short tail. Like, I wanted to give him kind of short hair, but not, like, very. And then I accidentally made him the shape of, like, a Manx cat. And I was like, hey, very short tail. Yeah! Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, that happened. Um, um... I don't have that much info about this guy. I don't have as much info about all of these, only some of them. But he's kind of, like, not extremely nervous, but, like, a little bit. And he is more like, yeah, I don't know. Kind of stays in the back. Um... I don't know if that makes sense. Stays in the back. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't fucking know. Whoops. <laughs> I... I just realized that he might have fit for... One of the apprentices. Parents. 
Oh yeah, and he's half blind, as you can see. Um, I was waiting for that to show so I could tell you. He was just born that way. Don't ask me why. I just I just did it for some reason. Yay! Look at him. He's kind of shy. Now we got Black Claw, another black cat. Um, so he's like big and strong. He very strong. He got big body. Very muscular. There he is. And he's just kind of grumpy. He's just like, bruh. Shut up. Um, but he's not like very grumpy. He's just kind of like, kind of, I already forgot his name. I can't believe Kind of like the deputy that I forgot the name of because I'm stupid. Mm. Um. But yeah, kind of like him. Except he's more grumpy and not just serious and stern. And yeah. But yeah. Um, but he's strong. He's a he's a good fighter. Uh, a good warrior. Oh, and I, uh, he's a black mackerel tabby tom with short fur and green eyes. I probably should have said that first, but whatever. Um, also, at this point, I forgot to draw the claws on top of the paw pads, but whatever. <laughs> His name is even Black Claw. <laughs> whatever. Um, here's Daffodil Cloud! His mate! Let me just, hold on. Okay, I checked his name is Nightstream. So, yay! Nightstream's mate! Daffodil Cloud! She, um... Is a very sweet, um... And cuddly... Oh, God. Don't look at that post. Do not. It's ugly, okay? I don't know what I was doing. So, she's a very sweet... And I don't have words to describe her except sweet. I was about to say open headed. I don't fucking know what open headed means. Um but yeah, basically she's very sweet. She's very nice and and kind to the uh to others around her and oh shit, I forgot to say the thing. She's a care uh no She's caramel and apricot mackerel calico she cat with long fur and hazel eyes. There you go. So, yeah. And she's uh, she's very nice to the people around her, and she's very social and fascinated by a lot of things. Um. And yeah, she's the mom of their two kids. Obviously, the I forgot to draw the claws on her. Paw pads as well, I think, but whatever. Um, she rarely, like, she never wants to choose violence when solving problems. Like, obviously, like, for example, if people are on their territory and shit or whatever. Um, and she's very understanding and yeah. She best girl. Everybody loves Daffodil Cloud. And that's confirmed by the people I have shown Daffodil Cloud to. Like, what even... Like, literally. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Everybody loves Daffodil Cloud. She is best. She's best girl. Every She's best. Just... That's a fact. Okay, shut up. That's a fact. Everybody loves her. She's best. And here's Sandberry, an apricot mackerel tabby tom with short fur and amber eyes. I swear to God, why wow, there's so many short furs. <sighs> Anyways, so he has kind of a... Um, I don't know what to call it. Kind of a chubby build, but not like... Yeah, but like, yeah. But not like exactly... Like, he's not chubby, but, like, his body is like that, kind of, like, round, um, but whatever. <clears throat> so, basically, yeah, and he is mates with 
tansy whisker um which you'll also see later i keep saying see you later because obviously you'll, yeah um they have oh my god uh help they have one two three four they have four kids together one of them is an apprentice and three of them are kids I'm sorry, but the kids do not have names yet because I am stupid. Oh, and he does also not have claws. Oh, I didn't talk about his personality. Whoops. Uh, he's just a good boy. There's not much. Th this is their child. Don't ask why. She okay, she's a short-haired, black and red, classic tortoiseshell she-cat with yellow eyes. I'm bad at make. I don't. I don't fucking know how to make a fucking tor a tortoiseshell cat. I don't know how to do that. I looked at references, so I. But I could. I just couldn't fucking. And then, addition to that, I had to make it a classic. And I was just like, what? Wait a second. Oh my fucking god, I literally forgot to make, like, oh my fucking god. Like, Tansy Whisker is a classic calico, but I forgot to make her a classic calico! She's the only calico! Ah! Anyways, uh, but yeah, she, Fiddle Pot, she's a cute little baby. She, um, yeah. She strives to be the best warrior she can be, and she's like, or not warrior, but like when she let's go into the award to play. Yeah, I'm a be I'm a helper clan and stuff I'm like yeah. Um yeah. 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 And she's very playful and social and Yeah. Fennel is a flower, I'm pretty sure. I was gonna maybe give her a flower. But I was too lazy for that, so sorry. Oh my god, I'm so mad at all these. The fact that I forgot so many of the designs. Wow, there she is. Ooh. And a slug paw, a short haired black she cat with hazel eyes. And as you see me adding Night Stream there. She is Nightstream and Daffodil Cloud's daughter. Also, what I didn't mention is that Daffodil Cloud and Nightstream, they kind of have opposite personalities, and but they kind of bounce each other out. He can be um, very kind when he is around a Daffodil Cloud because um, it's somebody he doesn't have to be extremely professional with or like serious with it like and so yeah but slug pot she um yeah she was not born right <laughs> uh to say the least i'm sorry um one of her eyes uh was born blind and also um deformed and so it would not it doesn't open more than that Kind of, and her leg, yeah, I don't know how to describe it, but it does not work properly. Um, so, yeah, and then this is their second child, Coot Paw. I don't know how to, is it Coot? So, I forgot to mention what, like, the, whatever, you can read it yourself, God. Okay, so Coot Paw is a long-haired uh, black spotted tabby tom with yellow eyes. So he's more like his mom, who is like, he's like long hair, and he has more personality like her. Um, or free spirited, and not free spirited, I don't know. Actually, needs help. I thought I knew what that means, but not really. But he's spotted, yeah. Um, and. Yeah, he's nice to the people around him.
But yeah, this is the second child. He's okay. Don't worry. Oh. So yeah, there he is. I don't know how much to say about him. And this is Papier, a queen. And she's a short haired, red spotted tabby she cat with green eyes. She's basically. She basically looks like fucking Squirrel Flight. Except she's extremely ugly. I'm sorry, but her face. Eh. It's so ugly. I don't know why it looks so fucking bad. I tried fixing it by like... Oh god, I'm gonna die. I tried fixing it by like giving her... Okay. By like giving her... Um... A tiny little... Muzzle... Thing. Because I thought it was like... The fact that you could literally not even like see... It will hit you like a flat face, kind of. And but no, it's just she's so fucking ugly anyway, and I hate it. Why does she have to be so ugly? I hate it. I'm sorry, but I don't like it. Mm, but yeah. Wow, she's spotted. Who? Um. Yeah. It's just, yeah, whatever, kind of. Wow, green eyes. Ooh. Also, I don't fucking know who her mate is. Don't ask me. I haven't decided yet. I'm sorry. Also, yeah, see how ugly she is? I tried adding, like, let, watch this. Like, I tried doing that, but she was still ugly, so whatever. And now we got Tansy Whisker, which is... Sandberries, mate. Um, which I forgot to fucking make a classic tabby. Like, she's just a calico now, but she's supposed to be a classic tabby. So, pretend she's a fucking classic calico ta- I mean, tabby. <clears throat> okay, yeah, she's a cinnamon and red classic calico tabby she-cat. Was her first so, pretend... That I made her a classic tabby and that I totally did not forget because I only picked her as his mate for um for for fennel paw because she was a classic tabby and then I forgot, fucking forgot to make her one. Um and worry cats didn't don't exist, but let's just pretend that um fennel paw is a black is black because it's a black um tortoiseshell because both of these people have like a black recessive gene people people what? also tansy is apparently a flower as well so i give her a flower or two flowers i guess i don't know um but yeah those are also their kids they don't have names so yeah whatever um, and then so, and now we're on the elders, and this is so, uh, stripes. She's a black, blah, 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 blah. she's a black tick tabby she cat with short fur and yellow eyes. And, uh, let me just tell you, all the elders are black cats. I swear to God. Also, I'm pretty sure this is like, um, Raven Star's mom or something. Bitch, I don't know. Um, I don't fucking know. They're all black. I can't. Why are there so many black cats? It's honestly annoying. Why are there so many? Like, I'm not the only one who got fucking 50 black cats. They're, like, just, why does the generator love black cats? Also, I, some people use a different generator. Um, I'll link to the generator that I used. Um, because I kind of forgot the name of it. Um, but, and, yeah, I'll link it in the description. So, I did not use the Pixel one. I used, ouch, another one. When I say the Pixel one, I meant, like, the ones with the Pixel cats. 
which it feels cheap because then you already got the camera laid out for you, but whatever. I kind of like such stripes, um, design. She's cool. She's short lady. She, she good grandma. I don't know who she grandma to, but she good grandma. To whoever she's a grandma to. Hey, she's a grandma to fucking nut streams. Um, kids. Yes. That's what she's a grandma to. And now we got Crow Blaze. A short haired black mackerel type of town with green eyes. Uh, just saying he's missing a leg and. Uh, yeah. He's kind of beat up. He's been into some fights. He's kind of grumpy, but that's okay. He's his fur is kind of ragged, like just kind of messed up. Um, but that's okay because we love our old man. This might be. I forgot grandma's name. I'm sorry, guys. I have the worst memory in history. I swear to God. Oh my god. The, the grandma's name. I don't know if they're together or not. Maybe. I feel like maybe they would. I'm not sure. But whatever. <sighs> I'm tired. Um. Yeah, he kind of grumpy. He's just straight up grumpy. Ooh. Wow, look at him. And now I got Rook fur. Um, Rook is a type of bird. And I didn't realize that after, after, I mean, until after I'd made his design. And then I realized that have like white like a lighter color on their beak slash face and i was like oh god i should have had that in his design actually would he be that dad like raven star and night stream because he would have also he looks kind of weird his body looks kind of weird i'm sorry because he would have had like a, and also he's just a black tom. He's not like a tabby or anything, just like them. And so, like, if we actually made him like the rook, like in his face, then he could have actually been their dad because um, Nightstream and Ravenfur they do have like a lighter color in their face. And so, yeah. But, whatever. Um. He's old. He's an old man. He's an old grandpa. And he's. God. Um, he, um. He's a liable man. He likes heading out with the children. And chatting and telling stories. Because, yeah, why not? Um. And, and, and that's all of them. So here's all of them I kind of collected. I was going to talk over it. Um. So this was actually really fun to do. I kind of got to experiment with my art style a little bit. Because I had been having kind of art block and my art style was like poop it was looking very ugly and so this kind of helped me get through it and i really like designing all of them it was actually really fun um some of them were better than others and i'm still mad about the fact that i freaking forgot to you know yeah so, to, like, make the classic fucking tabby. Um, yay! 
This is my completed clan treasure challenge. Woo! Um, also, I forgot to say what it said on, like, uh, show about clans, so here, I'm gonna just show you. So, yeah, that's, like, the Sherbo clan. The cordial and competent. Wow. I actually don't know what cordial means. What does cordial mean? Oh, I just searched it up, and cordial means warm and friendly. Yeah, I feel like these bunch are warm and friendly. <laughs> wow, this video is fucking 30 minutes long. What the hell? Ew, okay. Uh, yeah, so I did not expect this video to be fucking homo, like, 35 minutes long. Actually, 36 now. Um, yeah, I did not expect it to be that long. I'm sorry that you had to sit through this and listen to my pain painfully long rambling. Uh, mm, fucking most of this is not scripted except, uh... Basically, none of it except the start. Because I had an idea of what, it, what it's uh, say for the start. Um, and then the rest is just me rambling about the characters. I'm so sorry the video is so fucking long. Um, but I hope you enjoyed my cats. And I will upload them to Toy House at some point if I'm not too lazy. Because, yay. Um, yeah. I'll... See you guys soon, I guess, or maybe not. I don't fucking know. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. <laughs> okay, seriously, bye. Bye. <laughs>